What's up guys, Wonder Kills, and we are back with another deck profile right here in front of you. This is my uh, Malefic Drain deck I put together um, over the past week or so, and I went to my locals with it last night, and um, I placed first. Um, well, I mean, I kind of tied for first because the guy I was supposed to play for first place just offered to split the packs um, because it was kind of late at night, and neither of us felt like playing another round of of five instead of just a round of three like we usually do so we just split the packs but all in all um did very very well with this um it was like a there's like 10 people i mean this is a small locals but still that's a lot for that lo the locals i go to um but did am did amazing so um yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get started all right guys to get started um we're gonna start with our monsters so of course the star of the deck Triple Malefic Cyber and Dragon. 4k beater that we can just pull out of nowhere. Gotta run that. Um, a lot of people don't run this one. Um, a lot of people run the Stardust. I like to run the Triple Rainbow Dragon. Because um, it's just another 4k beater we can throw out there. And we don't gotta worry about his effect being negated with Skill Drain. Because, um, I mean, yeah, Stardust is good because it'll protect the field spell, but, I mean, this is Malefic Drain, so once Skill Drain's up, obviously he's no longer protecting the field spell. And I wanted to go with a, another 4k beater, so, um, went with the Rainbow Dragon. And it just added more pressure on your opponent, uh, with that, with that board presence. And then, of course, I run 3 Rainbow Dragon, just for consistency with it, so I can run 3 Malefic. Um, and, obvious with any Malefic deck, of course, Malefic Drain, 3 Barbaros. 3k beater once that skill drains up. 3 commandant, this is, I do run the gravekeeper version. Um, I th figure it's the best one this meta, especially against uh, rulers and any deck that really much acts in the graves. I played two matchups of mythic rulers and um, yeah one of my matchups was mythic rulers and destroyed them with the necro valley and the 3k beaters, or 4k, my bad. <laughs> uh, triple card car. Uh, just for draw power, obviously. Uh, triple Necro for the field spell. Gotta run Triple Necro. I was gonna run one Ori Calcos, but decided not to. Triple Upstart Goblin, again for more draw power. Triple Duality. Consistency, just thin out the deck. Two Space, um, because I've both met, or most of my matchups I played, I got Royal Decree. And you do not want that being played up against you. Um, so I just main deck double MST inside of the third one just in case. Um, just because I want to get that that uh, that road to create off the field obviously so I can make my plays. That's the one thing you gotta watch out for. Uh, one Forbidden Lands. I'm running lands over Royal Tribute right now. Um, I don't know what I should take out. I kind of like the lands better although during the tournament I did not draw into it too much. But um... I don't know, I was definitely considering whether or not to run Royal Tribute. And then on for the traps, obviously. Course. Uh, three, three skill drains. Two dark bribes. This uh, actually won me my match before the final match. Um, I had Malefic Rainbow out, poke for four, had no answer. Next turn, poke for four again. He had Book of Moon, dark bribed it, and... Um, basically a two-turn kill that won me the game. Uh, mirror Force, double Mirror Force, the Monster Hate, and double Deep Riz. And we main deck one Macro Cosmo. Again, this is more pressure on your opponent. Um, it really just stops every deck dead in its tracks. So, uh, obviously just, you know, one Macro. You could run D Fisher if you really wanted to, but Macro is just, everything was getting banished. And screws up your opponent's plays for good. Then for the extra deck, obviously, Triple Cyber and Dragon. Um, I was going to run number 62, this guy right here. Um, yeah, new Matt, by the way. Um, I was going to run him for 8s uh, because these two, I've had these two up on the field without uh, skill drain up. And even with skill drain up, um, it'd actually be better for 62 because he needs Galaxy Eyes as a material. And um, if he doesn't have Galaxy Eyes material, his damage is halved. Obviously, you wouldn't have that because skill drain is up. So you wouldn't have to worry about that too much. But um, that's about it for this Malefic deck. Um, 
Amazing deck did really well with it. Um, I was surprised. And uh, yeah, I'm, I am doing the uh, Rainbow Dragon version. I like the Rainbow Dragon version a lot better um, than the Stardust version. Just because it's just more powerful. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so matchups, I played Exodia, I played uh, Mythic Rulers, I played Psychics, I lost Psychics, but, um, won the first game, and, and then Naturia Beast came out, and it was kind of downhill from there, um, couldn't use my dualities and stuff like that, everyone let me, but, um, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it for my, uh, Malefic Drain deck. Thanks for watching. Uh, more deck profiles to come. Uh, we're going to be doing a Mythic Rulers next. We're going to be doing Chaos Dragons. Um, lots of good stuff up co um, coming up, so be looking forward to that. I'll leave a like if you like this video, obviously. Uh, comment if you got any suggestions, again, over this thing. Um, I always like to make this deck a little better. Um, and uh, subscribe, always. For uh, more videos, guys, always appreciate your support. Uh, Winter kills, and uh, we'll see you later.